Hello again. In this video, we are now going to go over how to use layer adjustments when trying to change the tonal information for your image. In the previous video, we went over brightness and contrast, but let me show you one of the downfalls of using the applying this adjustment directly to the layer. I have my edits here on a separate window. Let me go ahead and zoom in on Photoshop. When I apply my edits, notice how my edits are still in the original color information. So we don't want that. I'm going to hide this brightness and contrast. I'm going to bring back my edits uh, information here, which is my file that I previously uh, photoshopped, uh, made adjustments to. Instead of going to the image adjustments, most of these adjustments, not all of them, but most of them can be found under uh, in the layers panel. You see this little black and white circle. I have access to most of these adjustments. What I want to do is, instead of using another brightness and contrast, this time let's use a different tool. Uh, let's use levels, which gives us a little bit more control. So I'm going to click on this. And what this does, uh, does a couple of things. First, within your layers, you want to make sure that your adjustment layer is above your images, because it's going to be applied to any layer that's underneath it. If I was to drag this down here, uh, I would not be able to see the changes that I would be able to make within using this adjustment. So make sure that this adjustment is layer-wise on top. It doesn't matter that these pixel adjustments are above it because I'm not viewing them. If you really want it to be on top of everything, you could. Uh, I, don't wanna, I don't wanna move it there. I wanna move it above my pixel adjustments. So you can have it this way as well. Uh, what I want to show you what we have right here, we have our layer adjustment and notice that there is a layer mass. It's all white, meaning that the entire layer is going to be affected by these adjustments, something important to note. But what we now have, we have this properties windows that is being displayed. And this shows us the color data that is being applied across our image. If we look closely within this image, uh, maybe if you noticed this, this is called a histogram. And typically what you want, you want this color information to be spread across this entire spectrum. Over here on the left is darks, midtones, and whites. If you notice closely within my image, there's some information that is missing in the darks. So one way that you could go about within this image is that you could move these little controls and as I move this to the side, notice that it, what it's now saying is that whatever was whatever the value was right here, this is now the, the, the black level, the darkest value within my image. Uh, within this window, there is a little eye that you could do the preview to turn it on and off. Or what you could also do, you also have this little icon right here, where if you just press on it, it turns it off. And then when you let go, of your mouse button, it comes back. So you have to press and hold on to it to see the before and after. Uh, you are able to move these around. You can see I'm just moving these. I'm now changing what the gray value is. So I'm making this image a little bit lighter. I'm gonna zoom out just a bit just so you can see more of the image. The white value right here, notice that it peaks up here. There's lots of white information, uh, white, uh, data within the tonal uh, uh, value within my image. Uh, typically with the, these, you either want uh, what's called a peak, like a mountain, and we're kind of getting it right here where there's a little bit of data for the darks, lots of information in the midtones, and then a little bit in the highlights. Or instead of a peak, you get a valley where there's gonna be lots of dark uh, black data, less of midtones and lots of highlights. Either one is fine. Uh, what you don't want is something that I have right here, or even where there's gaps of data that's missing. That usually leads to what's called banding. But what I want to do here, I'm gonna go back up on top and go to default. You're always able to try out the different presets. So more contrast, I'm gonna go contrast three. You can see how it's changing the different uh, meters right here. I could change this to give me midtones brighter. These are all of the different presets. I'm gonna go back to default. 
uh, what, what you're also able to do, instead of manually changing these, we have these different eyedroppers. You could always click on, I'm going to click on this one. This wants to know what do you want to reference as the dark level within your image. So I'm going to try to find something that should be uh, black within my image. I'm trying to locate something. I'm going to, I might have to zoom in somewhere. Uh, let's go over here. I'm going to zoom in command or control plus and maybe like this uh, this tire right here should be the black level. All right. And now it wants me to I'm going to switch to the next one. What do I what value within my image do I want to be considered the midtone? So maybe I want this part of the concrete right here. Uh, and you're always able to select something else. It's like no, that's not it. Maybe I want to to do this one right here. Or maybe it should be this one right here. And notice how the color information is slightly changing. I kind of like this right here. And then lastly, what should be the white value? So yeah, you could choose the sky, but maybe I want this area right here on this chalk drawing for the keep calm and uh, carry on. And you see how that now becomes white. It changes the color information, but I could always go back to the midtones and select something different. So maybe I want this to be the, the gray value. But notice how this is continually changing. You could always go back to what should be the white value and say, no, you know what? This building should be the white value or this highlight, uh, the white, the, the color in the, the lamp right here. You could always go back and say, you know what, let me go back to my default. Let me try this again. I want this tree right here to be the black point. My midpoint, maybe the concrete in the front. And then my, maybe this window should be the bright. The sky. If I choose, what about if I choose here? You see how I made a lot more contrast? So you're able to change this in a very uh, different ways. So I want you to go ahead, take a moment and try this out on your own image. Uh, in the next image, what we're going to be doing, uh, we will be using a different adjustment layer. But before we do that, I want to also remind you that these adjustments, unlike the brightness and contrast, which is applied directly to the layer, this one was applied onto this layer. I could always I could turn this off by just hiding the visibility and we're back to our image at has how it was. Uh, if I click on this, I could turn it on. And so right now this is one adjustment using the brightness and contrast. And I'm always able to go back to this one. If I click right here, if I double click, it brings up the properties and I'm able to further adjust this. And I can even go back to my default if I want to. Here's a default. I'm just going to undo because I want to have this as a sample for later on. Uh, but this is how to apply a layer adjustment in Photoshop. So in the next video, we'll do uh, the curves. See you then.